I'm so excited to be filming my first ever YouTube video. I've been doing these little workout Wednesdays on Instagram for a while and have had a great response, but also lots of requests for more full length workout videos. So that's what my channel is going to be focused on. But if you have any requests to see anything else, make sure you get in touch. Um, if you're not following me on Instagram and you have no idea who I am, my name is Carly and I'm a Pilates instructor. My workout style is this sort of fusion of Pilates, yoga, bar, and a bit of functional training as well. So I hope you enjoy the workouts. Today I'm going to be taking you through a quick lower body workout focused on the glutes. One of my favorite workouts. Um, I always go to this one when I'm really short on time. So let's get started. The only thing you need is a mat or a towel or something just to make the ground a little bit more comfortable. And we're going to start lying on our side. So you can prop yourself up on your forearm or you might like to find a bicep pillow, whatever's comfortable for you. Just make sure your hips are nice and stacked, your belly is pulling in, your heels are in line with your bum, and we're going to go straight into some clams. So these are really nice and simple. You just push your heels together and open and close those legs. The muscle that you're focusing on is your side butt. It's a very technological term, the side butt. <laughs> so if you find your hip bone and just slide your fingers back and down, you should feel this muscle tightening underneath your fingers as you lift and lower. You can stay like this if you want to take it a little bit further. We're going to pop our heels up off the floor. So just make it a little bit more intense up here. While you're opening and closing, you're just finding your exhale to open, your inhale to close, and you're really focusing on pulling your belly in nice and tight so your hips aren't rocking and rolling. If you're rolling around through your hips, you won't feel your glutes too much. So you want to make sure they stay really nice and stacked. And just take it as slow as you like. You can let your toes fan out. And we'll just go for four more of these, really squeezing at the top. Last two. And on your last one, just hold it nice and high and find some little pulses at the top. You don't have to take your pulses really fast, just keep them slow. You're just staying in that top range and really focusing on squeezing the glute each time you open. You want to feel a contraction every single time. Four more little pulses. Last three, last two. And the last one, rest it down. We're gonna come back down to the floor if you were lifted. Opening into your clan. This time we're gonna kick the leg out nice and long, all the way back in line with the body. Heels together, lower back down. If you wanna advance again, you're kinda of gonna come up to this advanced clan position. So just popping those heels up off the floor. Drive that heel out. A little pause once you've extended your leg to make sure you're really squeezing through the glute. Again, you can check in on your tummy. If you're up on your forearm like me, make sure you haven't started to sink down. We wanna stay nice and lifted up and out of the shoulder. I always think about lots of space between my shoulder and my ear. So this one, we're gonna take an exhale to open push and inhale to lower down. So in Pilates, as a general rule, we always exhale when there's effort. That's a pretty easy way to remember if you find yourself getting confused. Just a couple more, making sure that leg goes out nice and long, big squeeze. Good. I just love Pilates. It's a big burn. You should be starting to really feel the side of your butt now. Three more like this. Good. Last two. And of course, we love to pulse in Pilates, so we're going to hold it out here and just find some little pulses to the sky. You can rest this leg down if you've got it lifted. Make sure those hips are still nice and stacked, one on top of each other. You're still pulling the belly in and you're really focusing on this side butt as you lift and lower. We'll go for eight more little pulses here. Seven, six, last four, three, two, and hold it there. Point the toe now, sweep the leg forward and just circle it up, back and around. Forward, maybe to the knee below you if you can, lifting up, back and around. Really easy to get mobile with your body here. So try and stay nice and braced through the tummy. So as you circle, nothing else in the body moves. And we wanna circle all the way back in line with the body. Just a smooth motion. Nothing needs to be faster than anything else. Everything's nice and fluid. Good. This is getting really bony now. Keep that toe nice and pointed, stretching nice and long. Never underestimate your tummy. It's working really nice and hard here. So pull it in. We're going for three more little circles. Last two. 
And last big circle, let's come all the way forward now. So you're hovering over your bottom knee. We're gonna turn the toe down. And when you turn the toe down, try and turn the whole leg down. So toe, knee, rotating right up here from the hip. Tap your toe down and lift it up. See if you can come right up past your hip line. This one really burns. Anytime you internally rotate, these tiny, tiny little muscle switches on and it really burns. <laughs> Keep that toe and knee pointing down or rolling right from the hip and that nice strong lift up. We'll go for four more full range and then we have to pulse. Last two, hold your last one up and we'll just finish with little baby pulses here. Nearly done. Eight, seven, six, tight tummy. See if you can lift a little higher. Five, four, three, two, one, relax it down. We're going to keep working our right butt here or whatever glute you were working on. So we'll roll ourselves up into four point nail position. Make sure your wrists are underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. You're going to stretch that working leg out nice and long. Roll your shoulders down and back, lift the belly up, and then just float your leg up in line with the body. So you should feel now that we're working through the smile line of the butt. We were working on the side when we were lying on our side. Now it's a little bit more big booty. Another technological term, <laughs> big booty, side booty. This one here, you'll obviously start to feel your wrists and shoulders, and some people find four point nail quite uncomfortable. So if you need to, you can find your forearms. My little tips to make this a bit more comfortable is just to soften the elbows, keep the shoulders down and back. You wanna make sure you're not sort of sinking into your shoulder blades like this, stay up nice and strong. And don't forget about your head, he likes to get droopy. You might start to look down, at your knee, so keep it long to your fingertips. Really squeeze that tummy in nice and tight, keep drawing it up towards the spine, so you're not finding this big sort of arch and rounding through your back, you've got lots of control. Squeezing the bum every time you get to the top. Four more, last three, last two, and we're gonna hold it up, of course, for little pulses. So you can point or flex whatever works for you in your glute work. I kind of find a relaxed medium between the two. That's my favorite. So we'll go for eight more little pulses here. Six. Good, last four, three, two, and hold it there. Let's flex the foot. We're gonna bring our heel towards the bum and then stretch your leg out nice and long. See if you can keep your working leg nice and high so it doesn't sort of droop to the floor and then lift a stretch, it stays up. And if you're feeling your supporting leg, the one on the floor, it's totally natural. It's actually holding all of your body weight right now. Good, a couple more like this. Ooh, it's really starting to burn. I'm getting quite warm, so I hope you're working as hard as me. Four more to go here. The last three, stretching right out for your last two and last one. Let's bring this right knee in towards the nose now. We're gonna step our foot in between the hands, tuck your back toe and lift yourself up so you're in a lunge position, straight into lunges. So we inhale to come down and we exhale to lift up. Whatever you wanna do with your arms, if you need to take them out to the side for a little bit more balance, that's fine. And just checking to see that your knee is landing right on top of your ankle. You want to be able to see your tippy toes here. You're nice and proud through your chest your belly's always pulling in here for support. And we're gonna try and tap that back knee all the way down to the floor. So finding a nice big full range movement. Make a little prayer, pray for it to be over. Just a couple more on this side. Keep pushing down through the heel and squeezing your bum to help come up. We'll go for four more. Last three. Last two. Last one, halfway down, of course easy your little pulses. So again, we want to go nice and slow. We don't want to sort of bounce around at the bottom of the mat. So keep pushing down through the heel and squeezing that glute, sinking as low as you can. Five more. Four, three, two, and hold it there. Let's hinge forward. So all of the weight is now coming onto your right leg. I want you to be able to slide your toe off the floor. We're going to tap our toe to the arch of the foot now and just tap it back behind you. So all of the weight is on that front working leg. I keep saying right, but it can be whatever your leg that you started on. If you can work a little bit harder, let's see if we can not tap our toe to the floor. So we're just gonna extend it behind us. Good. You 
if you need a little bit more balance, just keep popping it down on the floor. See if you can wiggle the toes of the foot that's left on the ground, just to make sure you're driving down through the heel to keep squeezing the bum. You wanna feel like you're sitting back in a chair, so your bum's poking out behind you. You don't wanna to start to roll under, become this little, little nana with her shoulders rounded and tailbone tucked over. Keep it open and back, four more. The last three. Good, last two. And last one. Let's come all the way up to standing. So we're just gonna go straight into some squats now. Make sure your feet are hip distance apart. Your bum comes over your heels. We sit down nice and low. We push down through the heels to squeeze and stand up. So inhale down, exhale push. Good. You can stay like this. If you wanna to start to make it a little bit stronger, we're gonna build pulses. So you come down for one pulse. The next time you come down, we have two pulses. So on and so forth. Keep building those pulses up. If that doesn't work for you, just stay with those full range movements. Inhale down, exhale up. Three, two, and one. Good, up to you which challenge you're taking here. Make sure you can sit back so you can wiggle those toes. Keep your chest nice and proud. I'm gonna come back to these full range movements now. If you're building those pulses, keep building them. Couple more seconds to go, and then we'll all meet down, and we'll all do pulses, we'll do it together. We'll go for three more. Let's sit down and we'll all take 10 pulses together. Let's go, 10 little pulses, nine, Eight, really sit those bum backs over your heels, bums back over your heels. Five, four, three, two, and one. Squeeze and stand up, good job. Let's come into a big wide turnout now. So you can use the width of your mat. Your toes are gonna to be pointing to each side of the room. And your bum is coming back right over your heels. So these are big deep sumo squats. And then we squeeze the bum to come up. So very similar to what we were just doing We've just changed our foot position. So what you should be feeling now is a bit more outer glutes. A bit of opening through the hips, a bit of inner thighs as well. But all those checkpoints, belly in, toes peeling back. Inhale down, exhale all the way up. Okay, if you wanna do your little pulse builds on this one as well, feel free for that extra little challenge. Just a couple more. We've got a really nice, fun pulse thing at the end of this one. Five more big full range movements. If you're building your pulses, keep going. Last three. Last two. Last one. Let's come down. We'll do 10 little pulses together. Nine, eight, six. Go sinking nice and low. Four, three, to now hold it there. We're just gonna turn our left knee in. See if you can tap it to the floor and then come back to that nice low position you were just in. Right knee turns in, can you tap it to the floor? Come back, turn it in, little tap, come back. So try not to lift your head as you come through the center. We just wanna stay low. So we're basically just rolling our toe in, seeing if we can get low and coming back out. This one really burns the thighs, by the way. That's what you want to be feeling here. Still that really tight tummy. You're still nice and proud through your chest and you're just going to keep breathing. Four more like this. Last three. Last two. Last one. Now let's turn whatever knee you're working on in little pulses. Ten, nine, eight. Ooh, it burns. Five, four, three two, one, come back through center, stay low, other side. Can you get your back knee super low? 10, nine, eight, six, five, four, three, two, and one, come back, straighten up, holy moly. All right, let's come down to the mat. We're gonna start our glutes on the other side. So finding your bicep pillow or your forearm, whatever you worked on the other side, bend your knees, bring your heels in line with your bum, pull your tummy in. Let's get into those clams. Push the heels together, open and close. It's nice to be lying back down on the floor. Catch your breath. This is a thing, another thing I love about Pilates is we get to do some exercises down on the ground, which is nice. 
So you can have a little snooze down here. Not really, you need to concentrate. So make sure you're squeezing that side butt. If you're taking it a little further, we're gonna pop up to our advanced clam position. Remember to squeeze at the top and it's not a race, so don't worry about pumping out heaps of reps. It's quality over quantity, so just make sure you're getting that squeeze every time. Pulling the belly in. If you're lying down on your bicep pillow, make sure you've got this little lift through your side waist. So you wanna be able to slide one or two fingers underneath your side waist. You'll find that by lifting up through your tummy and just feeling like you're pushing this top hip away from you instead of collapsing down to the floor. Let's go for four more here. Last three, you get to pulse at the top, last two and little pulses at the top, so stay high. Remember, we don't want to start to flap about, so just keep it slow and steady, really squeezing every time. Okay, we'll go for five more little pulses here. Four, three, two, and one. Relax it back down for clam kicks, so we open. Big push out, heel all the way back in line with the body, heels together lower down. If you want to do this from your advanced clam position, pop straight back up again. Let's really lengthen out through the legs, squeeze through that smart, uh, the side of the bum. Lengthening out in line with the body, heels together, lower down. And just watching as you stretch your leg out that you're not rolling through your hips, we wanna keep them forward. If you need to keep your hand on your hip the whole time and gently encourage yourself into a little bit of a roll forward, that is totally fine. Let's go for three more. Last two where the burn comes in. Hold that last one out to lower your bottom foot and we'll find some little pulses. So just squeezing right down the side of the leg. We want to aim to go about hip height higher, hip height higher. Not letting it come too close to the floor. Eight more little pulses here. Good, last four. Then we're into our circles. Three, two, hold it there. Point the toe, we're gonna to sweep it forward in line with your bottom knee, circle up, back, down and around. Try and keep the body really nice and still. Okay, nice big circles. If you need to make your circles a little bit smaller or if you're up on your forearm, you can lie down on that bicep pillow. Makes it a little bit softer, just gives you a bit more room. Exhaling on the way up, back and around. General rule is we exhale on the effort and that's definitely when you're lifting up, back and around. You should feel a big burn. So we've just got our final little pulses coming up. I don't know if you can see, but I'm getting pretty shaky through my leg now. Last two. And on your last one, we circle all the way forward. So when we internally rotate, we do it right up here from the hip, toe knee, pointing down, little lift, little lower should feel a really big burn on this one. Try and stay lifted up out of your shoulder. I was starting to collapse a little bit there actually. Just keep it nice and slow, exhale. Keep pulling your belly in for help. We're just gonna go for five more of these. Last four, three, two, and one. Relax it down. Let's roll over into our four point kneel position. We're still working that same glute. Wrists underneath shoulders, knees underneath hips. Stretch your working leg out nice and long. Let's lift and lower again. Remember you can slide down to your forearms if you need. Keep your nose in line with your fingertips. Your shoulders are rolling down and back. Belly's in nice and tight. We're really thinking about that squeeze every single time. If you're starting to feel that supporting leg again, you probably definitely will because he's done a lot of work so far. Keep those hips nice and stacked. We don't want to start to roll open again here. Staying lifted up and out of the shoulders. Doing really well. We're so close to the end. We're just going to finish off this side and then we are done. Five more. Last four. Three. Two, and we stay nice and high for those little pulses, just squeezing it at the top. You don't have to go any faster, you don't need to bounce around, just take it slow. Six more little pulses here. Four, three, two, hold it there. Let's bend the knee now. We're gonna bring our heel to the bum, 
stretch it out nice and long. This is a bit more of a hamstring focus, so really feeling down the back of the leg. Remember, you want to try and keep your knee nice and lifted. Just resetting through the spine if you need to, so keep pulling the belly in and those ribs and hips towards each other. This is where you might start to get a bit droopy through your head. You might start to collapse into the shoulders. So always resetting. There's always something to think about in Pilates. So you can distract yourself by doing a scan of your body from the head all the way down to the toes. Think about all the things that you can correct. Three more. Last two. And we stretch that last one out. Bring your left knee in towards your nose. Take a big step forward. Tuck your back toe, lift your knee. You're up into your lunge position again. Inhale down, exhale it up. Find any position that's comfortable for you with your hands. You can do anything you like. Pray for it to be over again. <laughs> Keep that belly pulling in. Just slide down your wall. You can try and aim to tap your knee down. If you don't get that far, that is fine. Just take it to your range. Really push through this left heel. Squeeze the bum. Let's go for five more of these. Last four. Last three. Last two. Last one. We're going to come down. Little pulses. Always endless pulses. There's always pulses to do. Eight to go. Seven. Proud through the chest. Pull the belly in, keep breathing even though it's burning. Two and one, hinge forward. Let's bring enough weight onto this front leg that we can pick up our toes, tap it to the arch of the foot. Tap it back behind you, bring it in. Ooh, really feeling that through the butt, through the thigh. Keep the bum poking out behind you. If you wanna work a little bit stronger, can you extend it out so you're not actually resting your toe to the floor? the balance, keep your eye line really steady. Five more like this. Last four. Last three. Woo, he's burning. Last two. And last one. Bring it all the way back in. Whew, I hope you felt it as much as I did. That is your booty burning done. It's just nice and quick. You can tag that onto an end of a workout or you can do that if you've got a quick few minutes and you want to get the heart rate up, you really want to feel that burn. I hope you enjoyed. Stay tuned for my next video soon.